Schumacher's away well. Damon Hill is closing up. Alisi and Berger in the two Benettons now. What's happening further forward at Sandervot? It's the Williams leading. Damon Hill has got ahead of Michael Schumacher as they lead. And this is absolutely crucial. A fantastic start. We didn't see it properly, but already the arrows is out. And that is Jos Verstappen. He only had one nose cone and he's done that in already. Now that is a Minardi and it looks to me like Fisichella's car. It is Giancarlo Fisichella. And that's Schumacher! Schumacher! Michael Schumacher is out of the Monaco Grand Prix before the first lap has even been completed. And that, sir, looks like Martin Brundle. And one of those Rubens Barrichello, there's Brundle, that's the Jordan out. And who is that off? I can't, it looks like a Tyrrell. It is a Tyrrell, Ukyo Katayama. And he was in 13th place. Well, now listen, because these are the people who are out already. Montemini did not start. Katayama is out. Barrichello is out. Fissi Keller is out. Lamy is out. Verstappen is out. And of course, Michael Schumacher is out. And that's Rosset in the, in the other foot our arrows, footwork. If we come back, let's hope. There's Rosset reversing in. This is into the entry to the Raskas section. That was where Barrichello went off. Now coming to what? And here's another spinner. It's Pedro Diniz. Pedro Diniz is he's out of the race because he's being pushed. And that's Gerhard Berger in third place. And going into the pits now. Is this going to be the first early and courageous tyre stop? Yes, the fuel goes in but no tires Berger's race is over indeed he's getting out of the car and that is Martin Brundle Martin and Brundle out through the left right left hand apart of Massonet bang into the armco left rear wheel damage back up into the, uh, the sex escape road clearly he wants to win every race and smoke out of the back of the Williams Damon Hill out of the Monaco Grand Prix he was destined to win this race and my goodness the Englishman's heart will be plunging to his boots into the pits comes uh, well difficult to see is it a Tyrrell no it's a Lacey once again what is going on a Lacey has a problem and he's retiring from the Monaco Grand Prix but oh, now Villeneuve out there's been a tangle there I'm sure Villeneuve's left front wheel let's look at it Villeneuve comes up the inside, bangs into the 40 car of Luco Badoa, and Badoa is out of the race. And you can see the damaged suspension, the car listing to the right hand side. And, oh, and that's, that's Irvine and Salo and Takinen. Oh my goodness! So there's only good. Now, here it is. Let's see what's happening. This is where Schumacher left it. And Irvine spins into sight in the Ferrari. There's Hakkinen. He's following through Salo in the Tyrrell, going out of our frame. And Salo bangs up to the back of, uh, of Irvine. Is Hakkinen. Hakkinen then goes into the back of that. Does Hakkinen get out and wonder why with the marshals? Where were the yellow flags? And Olivier Parnis for Ligier Mugen Honda, a wonderful fillet for the French team and their Japanese engine supplier, exits the Raskas to win the 1996 Monaco Grand Prix, a, an incredible result. David Coulthard finishes second and there's going to be joy for Sauber too. Johnny Herbert finishes third for Sauber.